guys. On part of time. So, you're probably wondering why you guys are kind of low. <laughs> I'm seeing my legs. Um, so, as you guys know, my eggs are slow growing. Um, so, my now possible retrieval is not until Monday of next week, which I'm hoping and praying I can change it because I really don't want to go, keep going through this until next week, the following week. So, um, cause it's just not comfortable, you guys. Like, I'm just uncomfortable and I know I'm not even where I need to be. So I know I'm gonna be even more uncomfortable. I just want it to be done and have good eggs and, but I guess I just can't rush it. But I'm going to try, cause I've been doing, I'm on a Facebook group um, for, for infertility. And, and if you're from that group, you guys, welcome and yes. You know I post a lot. <laughs> so, um, I did post about my, low, my slow growing eggs. Some woman told me that she had um, to cancel her whole retrieval because her eggs just stopped growing. And I'm praying that's not me. Um, so, anyways, I, my doctor is on my medication to 200 I use um, for the weekend. So I was gonna run out of medicine on Sunday. So I had to do something I did not wanna do. And I had to refill my prescription for Gonalef, which I didn't wanna do, but here I am. So that's coming in tomorrow. Cause I was able to do it in time for them to ship it out today. So anyway, somebody else suggested that maybe I try my thigh instead of my stomach. Because I can do my I can do my stomach or my thigh. I chose to do my stomach because I had a lot of the flab from my weight loss. It, it wouldn't hurt as bad. I also have a lot of flab. I know that's gross, you guys, but I have a lot of flab from my um, weight loss in my thighs too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and do the top half up here, where it's more like my actual meat than the skin, like down here. So, because somebody said try, try the location, because sometimes the location won't absorb the full medicine. So, and then I'm thinking, you know, the flab. So maybe that's the reason it's not fully absorbing, because I'm putting it literally in just my skin, not in my stomach. So I would have to like legit lift up my 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 extra skin right here. See all that flab? I'd have to lift, literally give it to myself underneath that, which. I decided not to do it. I'm going to try to do my thigh. So because I'm trying a different location, I am going to ice it. So I'm actually going to give it to me. Oh, that is so cold. Um, so I'm going to ice it and see how it works. So this is why you guys are so low. So while I'm icing it and I am in self quarantine right now because I took my COVID test today. So, I have to self quarantine until my retrieval. So I'm legit in my room by myself. And when I'm walking around my house, I'm wearing a mask. Actually, they gave me, they gave me five or six of these masks, um, you know, for my doctor's visits and stuff like that. Cause he's like a heavy duty ones that they're actually really hard to breathe. So this is what I've been using. So when I walk around the house, that's what I do. Um, which I don't walk around the house very much. She usually just go to the bathroom or to grab something to eat. Pretty much that's it. All right, so that's pretty numb, really cold. All right, so alcohol swab. So there's not a point where I'm gonna have to give myself two injections because of the medicine. Um, I'm gonna have to do this pen, the rest of those in the other pen to complete my dose, but that's not today. So, it's a little cold. Right. Let's just wash it off. Just doing a big area because I don't know exactly where I'm putting it. I can tell you it's very cold. <laughs> So 
up and put on the thing. Take it off. There we go. And it is now 200. see it. 200. All right. I think I need to put more ice on it. It's actually and I should, I don't know what I should do you guys. I'm just so just in my own feelings. I'm really upset about what happened today. The news about my slow growing follicles. So this makes me really sad because I was actually hoping to have my retrieval Monday. I was hoping for it Monday or Tuesday because that was the original plan. And then the first day got first follicle scan it got pushed to like Thursday, Friday. And now it's getting pushed to like Friday, Monday. So Let's just hope putting it in my thigh helps. All right. I don't even know what's, I'm gonna assume that's 90 degree angle. Oh, that burns. that burned in my thigh. I can tell you icing it didn't, I didn't feel it. And I'm not bleeding today, but it burned. It burned. Like I could feel it going in. All right, I'll oh, bleed a little bit. <laughs> Fingers crossed, you guys, that putting it in my thigh is better than putting it in my stomach. I just need to be hopeful. It's at zero, just so you guys know. It's at zero. And no, actually, there's no liquid going out this time. You know how yesterday, when I gave myself the injection, it still had stuff coming out? Well, not today. So I guess I got to be proud of myself for doing that. I'm actually proud of my, myself for doing this because you guys don't even know how freaking nervous and nerve wracking it is. So, all right, you guys, that was my update. So I'm going to go into self quarantine or as I like to call it, my break away from everybody. You like my shirt, you guys, side effects of IVF hormones. Hashtag infertility. Infertility sucks. So, that's how I'm feeling right now at this moment. And I'm bleeding. Hmm. I guess it's the after bleed. <laughs> but, it's not bad. So, I will keep you updated on how my thigh is feeling for tomorrow. You guys, just pray for me. I know you're going to see this after everything's said and done, but just... I just really hope, 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 hope that putting it in my thigh is what needed the change that needed to happen. <sighs> I just gotta breathe it out, you guys. I have been so emotional. I literally slept after I got home because I just didn't know what else to do with myself besides cry myself to sleep. So, anyways, you guys have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. So I promised you guys that I'm going to be as honest through this process as possible. So I'm kind of in my feelings today. Um, so I decided to pick up the phone and record. Don't know if it's going to make it to 
to the video, but so today is kind of hard for me. I mean, I've been self quarantined, so I'm by myself for the most part. But I'm just kind of feeling selfish. Um, I mean, I love my husband. I love my daughter. And they would be enough. But just like parts of me feels like I need to do this for myself. I need to be able to be able to experience pregnancy to term, birth, raising a child from infancy. Like I need that for myself. That's just being selfish. And I am so scared that this is not gonna work. I'm on day eight and I don't feel any different than I did on this since day five. I mean, if anything, I don't even feel maybe I just wasn't meant to have my own child. I have the most amazing child. I really do. Did I give birth to her? No. But she does, that does not make her any less mine. I love her like I did give birth to her. So I don't know. If this doesn't work, I don't know what's next for me. If I could just let it go. I'm about to be 35 years old. Am I too old? I just don't know. It's a struggle, you guys. It's, the struggle is definitely real. And... I just feel like quitting. Because I don't want no more disappointment. So that's how I'm feeling today. I just have a feeling on Monday I'm just gonna be where I was. No change. Or a slight change. I just don't know if I can go through this again. The timing and the waiting and the the unknown. There's just so much unknown infertility. And no one understands you. It's like you're all alone. People around you pregnant and or getting pregnant or announcing their pregnancy and it's like 14 years and I'm just sitting here just waiting just waiting for my turn it's like when I get a glimmer of hope I don't even make it past 12 weeks and the one time we did we lost them both like I just just don't know just keep pushing on and pushing on selfishly because if nothing happens Monday you guys I don't know if I can keep going on pumping myself full of all these meds every night taking a shot just for nothing. I don't know. I guess 
We'll see. All right. It's that time. I really don't have anything to say. I pretty much said everything. <laughs> if you watched the video up to this point. Um, I feel the same. Nothing really changed. So let's just move on. I just hope this is working. Apparently, like, I'm just having a bad day. That's another bad needle. Not bad because it's bad, it's bad because it's of the user. Let's try this again. Oh shit. I got my shipment of meds today. My refills. Two more pens. Clearly my body don't want to work. Come on. every time. Wait, I'm going to dial this out. Take this off. And dial to 200. Okay. I like it's pretty numb now, so I think I'm good. Come on, bubble. There we go. Oh, it's. I know what. All right, one. Okay, that's zero. Um, no bleeding, maybe a little bit. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna do this, take the needle off. And um, that's it. Uh, today is um, Saturday, day eight of STEMS. 
And, oh, something new that I didn't discuss. I got my test results back from my COVID test. I am negative. Shocker. So I'm going to stay negative. So I'm going to, oh, I am bleeding. Stay quarantined like I've been. So, but all right, you guys. Till tomorrow. Hi, you guys. So, I am, it's about almost 7.30. So, I just wanted to kind of go over some symptoms with you today. I just got out of the shower, so I figured I'd just do, I don't know, I think it's this leg. Um, but, so today, I've been very crampy um, in my back, in my stomach. Um, just kind of like all over and definitely in my back. This morning it was my back really bad and then I put a heating pad. I've been on the heating pad like all day. Um, I really haven't gotten out of bed much. Again, I'm in self-quarantine, you guys, so there's really nothing much for me to do. Um, so tomorrow is my third follicle scan and I'm just hoping for the best. I'm hoping they don't cancel my cycle and that's my biggest nervous part um yeah and i've been very emotional and sad and alone and it's just hard it's hard not to kiss my husband it's hard not to kiss my daughter it's hard um especially sleeping alone i'm struggling with sleeping alone um not sleeping with my husband is is pretty sad so um So anyways, so let's move on to this lovely shot of mine. Get it over and done with. Again, you guys, I've been putting it in my thigh because they suggested, well, so somebody suggested on my one of my Facebook groups to change locations since I was putting it in my stomach, but nothing's going on. Like my eggs are just not growing the way they should. They're growing very slow. Um, so. I'm hoping that maybe putting it, because oh, I have a lot of extra skin um, here. So I'm hoping that maybe putting it in my thigh where there's not a lot of extra skin is going to benefit me. So that's what I've been doing differently this weekend. And I've also tried to cut out sugars um, and change my diet a little bit. So we'll see if that, if that helps. Um, if that helps, I will share my diet with you guys that I've done all weekend. It's very minimal. Um, again, I'm in self-quarantine, so I'm just trying to get through it. And yeah, so here we go. So I have about, I think there's like 325 left on this. So this will probably be the, so most likely tomorrow, as long as you don't up it or lower it, I might have to take two shots tomorrow. I did get the new medicine, um, but I don't want to have to open it if I don't have to, but I know I'm going to open it. I know I'm going to have to. So I might just give myself two shots tomorrow, but we, we will see what, ha what I decide to do at the end. I'm just hoping it, holding it because it was a little chilly. Um, let me get out the swabs. I have been breaking out my face if you guys have not noticed i mean this is me freshly out of the shower so yeah it sucks i've been breaking out my face on my back it's awful these hormones are like really screwing with me so right. it's hot it's hot in here oh and i have like i'm one minute I'm hot, the next minute I'm cold. Like there's no, no in between you guys <sighs> at all. <sighs> all right, so let's do this. Um, I don't know what that I did. I think all I did it on this one. So I think it's this turn. 
I don't think it's going to be the end of the world if I have the wrong thigh. I think this is the right one, but I'm not sure. So. <sighs> this part sucks. I mean, this whole infertility journey sucks. But, like, this has been, like, an, um, like a roller coaster. A um, mental, physical, emotional roller coaster. And I really didn't quite get it. How how it was going to be. And I've watched so many videos of women saying, don't plan, uh, plan your IVF because it doesn't always go as planned. And they're so right because my retrieval is supposed to be Tuesday and does not look like that's going to happen. So... Don't ever make plans. Don't plan nothing. It is time. Do two hundred. that but it's 200 bubbles already coming out so it's ready let me exit for a couple more seconds my line up here it's like starting starting to get like second nature you guys <laughs> which is awful does burn a little bit when it's in the thigh. I think I already told you guys that. A little bit came out. All right, it's all right. I lost a drop. But it's at zero. So. That's what it is. A little bleeding. It's just so stressful and emotional. I don't even know how to explain this process, you guys. I honestly just want it over. I want it over. I want it to work. And I'm addicted to YouTube, watching other people's journeys. I know everybody's different, but it still makes me worried and scared. what it is so tomorrow is my third follicle scan see how it goes you guys till next time